On November 22, 1963, America lost its president. What began in San Antonio as a five-city tour of Texas ended with John F. Kennedy's assassination in Dallas. Dozens of local radio stations, television, and home movie cameras captured the events in unprecedented detail. This is a friendly cloud in downtown Dallas. Much of this footage has never been broadcast nationally. It is assembled here for the first time. After the Dallas appearance, of course, he goes to Austin, where tonight there will be a $100 a plate fundraising dinner, uh, the only event that's tagged as political in his uh, tour of Texas. This is the control tower at Dallas Love Field, where a large crowd is gathered now to await the arrival of President and Mrs. John Fitzgerald Kennedy from Carswell Air Force Base in Fort Worth. Police were circling the field all morning long from the early morning hours, and a huge contingent of police are on hand. Literally hundreds of policemen uh, on the scene, uh, uh, many of them mounted on motorcycles on uh, virtually uh, every roof as uh, part of the vast uh, security precautions taken here. It looked like we were in prospect for an all-day rain, but as things turned out, about an hour later, the skies began to clear, brilliant sunshine uh, lighting Love Field at the present time. Quite a few flags uh, fluttering in the breeze uh, uh, down toward one end of the ramp, a Confederate flag along with a flag of the Lone Star State. And as we said, most of the signs uh, being waved by the uh, the placard wavers here, uh, very favorable toward the president. Uh, even a sign down here on one end, uh, which reads, Nixon, go home, uh, no doubt in reference to the uh, fact that the uh, former vice president and the man who uh, President Kennedy defeated in the election back in 1960 was a visitor uh, in Big D yesterday. And uh, we notice they have uh, a couple of dozen roses, a dozen of red roses and uh, a dozen of uh, yellow roses. That, by the way, the plane you're seeing now is a C-123, which transported in the famous bubble top limousine, which the president and first lady will ride in. However, that limousine now is down in front of the uh, welcoming ramp. And yes, I can see it from here, and it does not have the top up. So uh, our information from the, some of the uh, Secret Service men earlier was correct, that uh, depending on the weather, if it's nice weather, no rain, top would be down. For all of you people who will see the parade downtown, you'll see a glimpse of the president and first lady in the flesh rather than through the bubble top glass on the outside. Thousands should already be on the street right now awaiting for a view of the president and his wife. The president, of course, is uh, going to go on that motorcade when he arrives here and takes off. Through downtown Dallas, you'll go down uh, Lemon Avenue, Cedar Springs, uh, Harwood to Maine, and the big uh, portion of it right down Main Street in Dallas. From, uh, from Harwood, which is right at the uh, police department and city hall area, all the way down Main Street past the courts building where he'll turn on Houston to Elm, go under the triple underpass, then shoot on out Stimmons to the mart where he will speak at noon. First time since 1948 that a president has made an official visit to Dallas. Here comes the big jet end. Here's a cheer. 
here going up now as a big jet lands with the United States of America on it. Boy, that's a beautiful ship. A 707 U.S. Air Force One. There it is. The President of the United States seal on the nose. Protocol has it, but the uh, Vice President, of course, should be on hand to uh, greet the uh, President of the United States. The door of uh, Air Force One has uh, swung open. Here's Jackie. And here comes the President of the United States. You know, protocol usually has it that the President gets off the plane first, walks three or four paces ahead of his wife. Now, this has been changed around somewhat on this trip. People have noticed that the uh, President has been allowing the, the First Lady to get off the plane first. There's no trouble at all spotting Mrs. Kennedy with a bright pink dress, a wool dress, pillbox type hat. Clear blue sky and a warm sun. Beautiful day now, just a beautiful day. President in obvious good spirits. And here they come, right down toward us. And the people who waited all morning in the fence are rewarded with a close look and a handshake for the President of the United States and his wife. Boy, this is something. The press is standing up high, getting a lot of shots of this. He's broken away from his plan and uh, gone right up to the fence to shake hands with people. This is great for the people and uh, makes the eggshells even thinner for the Secret Service, whose job it is to guard the man. Back they go to the car. Now the president is turned around and uh, escorted by Secret Service men. He is heading back to the uh, limousine. Governor Conley standing in the car beaming. Mrs. Kennedy stepping in the car first. Now the president. And uh, the motorcade begins to move up. The president and the first lady sitting in the back seat. As we said, the top is down. They are not using the bubble, so it'll be an open limousine parade. Immediately following the uh, presidential limousine, a car uh, loaded with Secret Service men. It is our understanding that the motorcade will be moving slowly enough so that everyone along the route will have a uh, good look at the chief executive. At one o'clock, we will bring you the president's address at the luncheon at the trademark.